Happy December, everyone. It's Amy Gable Stitcher here with another cross stitch update video for you. Today is December 9th, 2020, and I have so much stuff to show you that I came out to the kitchen table. I have, I think, 10 whips. I have three finishes, a little bit of haul, and a giveaway. So tons of stuff to show you. And plus, too, that way you have a little bit of a festive decoration in the background. I hope everyone is doing well. We're doing fine here. The kids are mostly doing, doing remote schooling. So with five of us in the house, because husband's working from home too, it's really hard to find a quiet time to do a video. Kids only had a half day of school today, which means that they are holed up, probably playing computer games, hoping that I don't ask them to do anything around the house or ask them how their homework is doing. So time for me to pop on and to share with you everything I've been working on. I have gotten a ton of stitching done in the last month, more than I realized when I start gath started gathering it up. Sometimes that happens. I find that when the kids have been working from home for school, I am able to get little pockets of stitching time that I don't have otherwise. So sometimes that adds up to a lot. It's amazing that every stitch really does count. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have three finishes. Two of them are FFOs and one of them is a finish. So let me show you the finish first. And it's not even my finish. My youngest child, Phoebe, who is going to be a teenager next week, which blows my mind. I'm gonna have three teenage girls next week. Crazy. So, um, but she's a cross stitcher. She hasn't stitched a ton recently, but she did decide she wanted to start stitching again. She's also a knitter, but she picked up one of her JBW designs, the Seaside series, and she wanted to do the seashell. She had started this, I think, maybe over the summer, and she has a finish. So she stitched this on, I think it's a Wexford linen that she got at Needleworkers Delight. So it's a silk weaver's piece of fabric. She stitched it with a DMC, and I think she did a really nice job. So she just finished that this week, and she has a Lizzie, Lizzie Kate thing that she wants to stitch next. So hopefully she starts that. So I will show you in the next video. She really likes these JBW designs. She tends to pick her own color. She even gave me the DMC for this one. She used DMC 3688. So I think she did a nice job. So she would like me to finish that into an ornament for her. So we'll see how that goes. So one finish, it's not even mine. My next finish is for an ornament exchange. And if anybody from my Rhode Island stitching group is watching and doing the ornament exchange and doesn't wanna see, look away. So I'm gonna show and not use a lot of words here. My local stitching group is doing an ornament exchange for Christmas and I finished stitching and finishing the ornament and I am going to drop it off tomorrow. We're doing a no contact drop off and then people are mixing the ornaments up and somebody else is gonna deliver. So look away right now if you don't wanna see it, but it is from this issue of the owner, just cross stitch ornament issue. This is a very good issue, by the way, if you're looking at back issues to get. And the ornament I did, pull it out. There's actually quite a few in here I want to do, so I might keep it out and start another one. This is the ornament I stitched. And here it is finished. So I think it came out really adorable. So I finished it on a piece of foam core and then I mounted it on some felt and I used this trim here. 
So that is the ornament. So I'm gonna drop that off tomorrow. Um, after the exchange, I will put the details of this ornament on my Instagram page. So if anybody wants to know what I stitched on and what I um, materials I used and how I finished it, my Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. It's Gable Stitcher. So um, if you want to follow me there, I will post some information about this here. I am not great about posting on Instagram, just to give you a fair warning, um, but I do try to post here and there. And I do enjoy seeing what everybody else stitches. I'm just not the best at posting. So those are my two, those are two of the finishes. Rhode Island people can look up. My third finish, well, my second finish, third finish I'm showing in this video, is an FFO that I already mailed out. It is the 2019 linen and thread stitch along that I was working on. Um, I stitched it for my friend Celeste. I mailed it to her and she received it. So I'll put in a video of what it looked like before I mailed it off here. It's done. Percy the Peacock, the 2019 linen and threads stitch along is done. I did months one through 10. There was an outside border that was charted as well that were months 11 and 12, and I decided not to do them. I popped him in a frame. I did it one over one on 28 count Monaco. My main color of floss is DMC 3808, it's nice teal. And it fit perfectly in an eight by eight frame on 28 count. So I really like the way it came out. Let me bring you in so you can see some of the details. So the corner blocks have some kind of intricate back stitch on it. And the center blocks of each side and the big center block is all cross stitch. So I just laced it up popped it in. I think it looks perfect. I am going to mail that off to a friend of mine, my friend Celeste, for a gift. She has enjoyed watching Percy grow, and I think Percy will be a great addition to our home. And I wanted to film it before I sent it off, and I will pop it in a video after Celeste gets it. So once again, one last time, is Percy. Pretty cool. I'm really happy with how that came out. I was very happy to also gift it to my friend Celeste. We have been friends for decades and I know that she was very happy to receive Percy and I can't wait until the pandemic is over so I can go visit Celeste and Percy in person. On to whips. I have a literal pile of whips. So no particular order. Let's just jump in and get started. First whip. This is from Hemlock and Rye Stitchery, who is Julie, Kansas City girl on Colorado World, here on YouTube and on Instagram. And this is her Nantucket houses, Nantucket Christmas houses. I will put in a picture of where I was last and you can see the difference between that and where I am now. So I've been working on this house here I am stitching this with the called for fibers, which are primarily DMC, although the house colors are a weeks and the roof is a classic color works hickory sticks. I'm stitching this on a 40 count country mocha linen by Zweigart. Um, I like this linen a lot. It has some modeling on one side. It's a printed linen. So there's modeling on one side and the other side is one color. I'm going to finish this hopefully in a cube finish. I'd wanted to finish it this year for Christmas because it's going to go right in this little shelf here. But as we can see, it's still a whip. I always think I can stitch a lot faster than I actually can. 
but I am enjoying stitching on this and I'm looking forward to having it displayed next year. Whip number two. This was a new start. This is the Happy Heart Sampler by Birds of a Feather. This is an out of print chart. It is a little bit hard to find. One of my good stitching friends, Shelly, who is Key X Stitcher here on FlossTube, I will link her below as well. She lent me this chart. So thank you so much, Shelly. I am stitching this on a week's 40 count linen in the called for colors. These are mostly weeks that are called for and a couple of DMC. And I have no idea what color linen this is, just that it's a week's 40 count. And it's the old week space because it's a non Zweigart. The week's 36 count and above now, they are now dying on a Zweigart linen base. And this is their old base, which is okay. I mean, I love the way it looks. I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I just don't enjoy stitching on this linen as much as I do as a Weigart based linen. But I love the color. I love how it's looking. And I'm looking forward to working on this more. These first two projects are ones I would like to complete early in 2021. Um, I'd like to get this chart back to Shelly. And I'm looking forward to having that displayed. I chose 40 count because on 40 count, it will fit into a standard eight by 10 frame. And I try to do that when I can. I look at the stitch count of a project and I try to adjust the size fabric, the count fabric, so it will fit into a standard size frame to make it easier for myself to finish and less expensive to finish. Next whip, Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. I started this this year. Julie and I have started a new Halloween project on the 13th of every month this year. Well, I, I missed a few because I was a little overwhelmed, but I think she hit one every single 13th. We called it hashtag stitch Halloween 13. So you can follow that hashtag on Instagram and um, see what projects we've worked on and you can join in too. We'd love to see what everybody else is working on the 13th for Halloween whips. So this project I am doing on the call for fabric and with the call for fibers. And that is really unusual for me to have two projects in a row that I'm using the call for fibers. Normally I kind of look at the call for fibers as a suggestion and substitute in what I have, but not always. So this is being stitched on a 40 count murky. And I'll put up a picture of where it was last time and where it is now. So I finished the moon here and I started on the motif above the witch. So I am loving how this is coming out. I have never stitched on murky before. And I do have to say that the 40 count murky is a little bit tough for me to stitch on. I do need to use magnification. It is a picture of this plus linen, which tends to be very tight. It's tight weave and also because it's dark. But murky is such a cool fabric. Like if you look at it, it kind of looks almost like the rag that my husband would use to change the oil with, you know, in the car where he whipped his hands on. But it's a really cool linen to cross stitch on. So I had a lot of fun stitching on that. Only stitched on it for a day, but I really enjoyed it. Next, this one I took out of the Q-snap to show everybody. because so it's been in the Q-snap for months. This is, you don't know the power of the dark side. It is a project I bought off of Etsy from a seller who was no longer available, but hold it up. I don't have a cover picture, but I don't think you need it at this point. It is the shape of Darth Vader. In the words, you don't know the power of the dark side. My middle child, my middle daughter is a huge Star Wars fan. So she requested I make this. 
she wanted it for her birthday in August and obviously mom did not get it done. So I am shooting for Christmas. All I have left, I shouldn't say all, it's a lot of stitches, but I have half of three letters left. I'm not sure I have a picture of where I was last. If I do, I will have inserted it. So I'm really liking the way this comes, it's coming out. And this will fit into a standard size frame. I actually, I found one, I need to go buy it. So this is what's left here. So I need to move the Q-snap anyway. So I took it out and we'll stitch it, put it back in and hopefully have it framed up for Christmas. This is on a 32 count white Belfast linen with just tons of 310 and the red color is 666. So I think I'm on my fifth or sixth skein of DMC 310. I have the big cone, so I just keep going to fill it up, but I think I probably need almost another skein left. So lots of 310. The next project I worked on is the Burgundy Band Sampler. And I will put a picture up of where I was last time. This was a stitch along in 2020 sponsored by iStitch Designs. And it is a sampler, I'll hold it back here so you can see everything I've done, done on banding. So this is 28 count banding and I've done it, you do it over one. And I'm doing this with DMC 815, I think. It is not that red. It is definitely more of a burgundy. It's washed out a little bit. Bring it up. This is a 28 week stitch along with a bonus chart. And I finished week 23. So this is the bit that's more true to color. This is what I have done since the last video. This is so much fun to stitch. I mean, it is over one, but it's not a difficult over one stitch. It's mostly letters, some fun borders, just a lot, a lot of fun. So I stitch designs. She is doing a 2021 stitch along, the Jade Band Sampler. And of course I'm doing that. I would like to finish week 28 of this before that starts. We'll see. I'm getting closer, so I won't be that far behind. Um, but I don't want to have, this is another thing I don't want to have linger too much into 2021 because I don't want to have two of them going at the same time. I figure if I finish week 28, then the bonus week I can kind of work on, but I would like to get as close to finishing that as possible. So the Jade sampler as well, she, she calls for a silk collar, um, an Avera Soie. I just use DMC for this one and I'll use DMC for the next sampler as well. If you are going to do this stitch along and are wondering how much floss you will need, I've been keeping track. I am only halfway through my second skein of DMC. So if you're doing it over one, it does not take a lot of floss. So my next project I worked on, <clears throat> all right, a little backstory. So it's the end of 2020. Everybody is announcing what their stitch alongs are going to be for 2021. Jade band sample is coming out. Got to stitch that one. Well, modern folk embroidery, border, modern folk embroidery, words are hard today, does a stitch along every year. They did a mystery stitch along for 2018 and 2019, 2020, and for 2021, they're releasing the whole stitch along and then you get parts of it emailed to you every month. The 2021 stitch along, so pretty. So I think I need to do it. And while I was looking at it saying, oh, I need to do this, I remembered I started the 2018 stitch along did I finish the 2018 stitch along? But I love it and I will finish it. The 2018 stitch along, I'll put a picture in, is the four seasons. 
stitch along. I don't have a printout, but I will insert a picture. So I said, Amy, if you're gonna stitch the 2021 stitch along, you really should work more on the 2018 one as well. So I pulled it out and this is where I am. I don't think I've stitched on this at all this year prior to a couple of weeks ago. And I did finish the top row of it. So this is January, February, and March, 2018. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't start it until late 2018. I think it was mostly released by the time I started it, but I do love how this looks. This is on a 40 count cream Zweigart linen, and I'm using one color of DMC, mm. 3805, I think. And here it is. Will I finish this by 2021? Am I gonna do the 2021 Modern Folk Embroidery stitch along? Probably. Am I gonna start in January? Probably. But I will be doing a year end review and plans video. And I'm gonna do a whip parade too at the end of this year. So probably not another update video, probably just those two videos, but that's enough. I haven't done a whip parade since like my third video. So it's it's time. I'm kind of I'm getting excited about it. I love this time of year when everybody's doing whip parades and year review and what they plan on working on. Really exciting. Lots of good floss tube watching. All right, stop yakking, Amy. This is the last whip. This is a peacock, a unicorn, and a badger by the Scarlet Letter. Hold it up so you can see it. This is a project I started with Abby Bella Stitch. Good friend, good stitchy friend of mine. She started it for her birthday. And I said, yes, please. I'd love to stitch it with you, Abby. Stitching it with the called for DMC that I made floss tags for. They are really pretty, these colors. Anything that require, that I'm gonna be stitching on for, let's face it, years, I tend to give its own floss set. Um, anything that I'm not gonna be stitching on for years, I just use my master set of DMC. So here's where I am. I will put in a picture of where I was last time. This is so much fun to stitch. I'm stitching this on a 40 count mallow linen. Mallow linen is a Zweigart linen, but it's a blend. It's 50% linen, 50% cotton. It is very even, it is stiff, which is okay. That doesn't bother me. It is very tight weave. So I actually counted this when I was working on it because I was working on the Modern Folk Embroidery Project downstairs in the library. And I have been keeping this one upstairs in our TV room. And I went upstairs, I put down Modern Folk Embroidery and I went upstairs and was watching TV with my husband was stitching on this. I was like, this is not 40 count because I was just stitching on 40 count and I can't see this. I counted it. It is 40 count. It just is very, fluffy fibers. So it's a very tight weave. So loving, loving stitching on this. Jen Lee from Quirks and Stitches has been plowing through this. She is has like the outline of everything done and is now coloring in. And Abby, Abby Bella Stitch has gotten a ton done as well. So fun, fun stitch. It's huge. I mean, this is like, it's full coverage. It's the size of a lot, you know, of a small Heaven and Earth designs, but I'm not gonna finish it anytime soon, but that's okay. I am enjoying the journey. It's a lot of fun. So I think those are all my whips. Considering two of the finishes were whips as well. That's a lot of whips. Plans. I think I'm really only starting one more thing this year, unless I start an ornament. But Stitch Halloween 13, where, oh no, 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 I do have one more whip. All 
right, so this is a Lindy Stitches project. This is Dumpster Fire Friends Forever. Julie, Kansas City Girl, a Colorado World, and I, good cross-stitch friends. Um, we're stitching this for each other because we saw this and we we're both like, yes, it's been a dumpster fire year and we are dumpster fire friends. So Julie, look away because she's stitching this as a surprise for me. Well, I know she's stitching it. I just haven't seen it. And same thing. I'm stitching it and she's not going to see it. So I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just going to hold it up. So a scrap of linen. And this is where I am so far. I have used zero of the call for colors so far. And originally we were thinking we could finish it for Christmas for each other. It won't be, but that's okay. I'm, I'm enjoying the journey. That's gonna be my 2021 mantra. I'm enjoying the journey. Okay. So this is what made me remember that because I was talking about Stitch Halloween 13, where Julie and I do a Halloween start. We've done a Halloween start on the 13th of every month this year. I missed a couple of months because I was really overwhelmed, but December we're going out with a bang. So Julie, myself, and another cross stitcher Lost Tuber, who's friends with Julie, Colorado Stitcher maybe, we're doing Lila Studio Nevermore. I have had this since it came out. When it came out in 2018, I'm like, I need it now. I gotta stitch it now. I wanna start it now. I even bought all the call for fibers. I haven't started it. So two years later, I am starting it. I have fabric at one point for this and I think I plucked it for something else because it, was, it wasn't the call for but I went through my stash and I pulled out a piece of color and cotton it's called tombstone it's a 40 count and it's like a bluey gray that's about right and it's pretty close to what is on the picture the cover it calls for feldspar if I picture this plus which is like a bluey gray so that is my last plan start for 2020. And that will bring me up to a jaw dropping number of whips for me, which you will all see in the whip parade in a couple of, in a week or two. So other plans just stitch on everything I'm stitching on. I really need to finish Darth, but other than that, we're just gonna stitch. Haul. I actually had very little haul and then I waited too long to do the video. So something came in, dropped something. All right, so fabric. I have signed up for the Be Stitch Me fabric of the month. The November fabric came in and this is not true. Uh, that's not bad. It's called Peanut. It's a nice neutral. Let's see. It's a little bit darker than that. Some modeling in it. Getting 40 count Newcastle. And I really like her fabric. It's nice and smooth. It smells good. It feels good. Stitching's a very tactile experience for me. So I like that fabric. I placed an order with Jen's Stitching Niche on Etsy on Black Friday. I got Songs of the Season by Prairie Schooler. This was just re-released and I have been waiting forever for this to come out. Now, if you can see, I have, there's a bookshelf back there, kind of dark in that corner. But these will look great displayed in that bookshelf. At Christmas. While I was there, this is actually the original cardstock, and this is one of those that, you know, I've kind of I've looked at and I've wanted to stitch, so I picked it up. Measure of a year, Prairie Schooler. I had never seen this before, 
and I had to get it because Stacy Nash Primitives. It's called 1806 Manor House Sewing Row. I mean, look at that house. That girl. And then I got some fibers for a project that I'm planning on starting in January, which I'll talk about my plans video. And a small piece of Picture This Plus Valor 40 count. It's a little bit darker than that. That's about right. Never stitched on Valor before, so I figured I would buy a little piece to try it out. And I have a good idea of what I would like to stitch on that. Then a few weeks ago, I went to my LNS, a stitch, excuse me, um, the world in stitches. Words that hard today. The world in stitches in Littleton, Massachusetts. And I love Randy and the world in stitches. One of the things I love about the World in Stitches is that it's one of those shops that every time you go in, you find something new. And I have, I mean, I've been in there a lot. And I was poking around this time. Randy was celebrating her anniversary, her 35th anniversary of being in business. And I poked around and I found a few charts that I have never seen there before. And I said, yes, please, these need to come home with me. So, Exemplar Dames, Serenity, and Quaker Hornbook. Both of these are older charts. They've been out of print, and they have been on my radar. So I was very, very happy to see them, and they came home with me. I have one of the other ones in the series. I think it's Diligence, and it's actually all kitted up. So... I should start one of these next year. All about the journey, right? And then while I was there, Randy always has a, an amazing selection of Seraphim fabrics and she had just gotten some in. So I picked up a piece of Boston. This is a 36 count and normally I'm not a huge 36 count, 36 count fan like 40 count linen and 32, like 40 counts, more my jam. But I saw this color and I had to have it. So pretty. It's like a bluey gray color. And I really, really like the Seraphim fabrics. So if you're up in Littleton, Massachusetts, or if you're looking for a Seraphim fabrics, call Randy at The World in Stitches because she always has a great selection. So... That's my haul. I'm going to pause this because I dropped something. All right. For the last time, I'm back. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. It's crazy to me. But, you know, I kind of need to do something to celebrate. And I want to do something to celebrate. So I have been kind of organizing and going through my stash and seeing what I want to stitch. And I have a lot of cross stitch. I have so much cross stitch that I know that I'm not going to stitch it all. And I have really, really nice things. So I've decided to start passing my cross stitch on to you guys. I picked out two charts. Um, one of them I actually do plan on stitching because I had a double. The other one I love, I almost started it this year, but then I decided that I was going to pass it on to somebody else instead. So I'm going to show you these two charts. One of them is the Virtue Sampler by Hillside Samplers, Hillside Samplings. This is an older chart. It is gorgeous though. I do plan on stitching this. Like I said, I actually have two copies of it. That's how much I like it. It's mostly cross stitch, but there are some specialty stitches in it. And there are great diagrams of the specialty stitches. I'm looking at them right now on the back. The other project that I am passing on and giving away is my big toe cross stitch designs. It is called Quaker Harmony. It's really pretty. 
So what I would like you to do, if you are interested in these designs, in a comment, if you would like to be entered for Quaker Harmony, please use the word Quaker in your comment somewhere, because I'm just gonna search for a word. And if you would like to stitch the Virtue Sampler, I'm not gonna make you use Virtue because that's gonna be a tough one to use. Why don't we say, use the word hillside, okay? Hillside. So, hillside, Quaker. You must be 18 so I can legally get your address. Please be a subscriber. Do not use the word giveaway or free because I'll need to delete your comment because then people are gonna come and just wanna win the prize and I really wanna stitch her to get it. I will mail these anywhere, okay? This one I will likely take out of the plastic if it's going overseas, but I will mail these anywhere. So any anybody on the planet Earth, please feel free to enter. And I am looking forward to sharing this with you. And what I think I'm gonna do going forward is I'm gonna continue plucking things out of my collection that I am, I've either stitched and I would like to pass on, or I you know, love it, but I'm unlikely to stitch it because let's face it, I have enough stash to last me three, four, five lifetimes. And these designers keep putting out new designs that I need to stitch too. So I would like to share them with you. So going forward, that is what I will do. So once again, Hillside, Quaker, can enter both, can only win once, and I will mail anywhere. Please do not say giveaway or free. Please be a subscriber. And if I, I will draw before my next video. If there's another video after this one, then it's no longer an open um, contest. But that is it. Thank you so much for coming to visit with me. I, like I said, I plan on having two more videos this year. I plan on doing a whip parade and I plan on doing a year review and a uh, planning for 2021. I don't know if there'll be another update video, we'll see. Time is kind of, kind of hard to grab time here, so um, to do a video, but it is what it is. Well, what we're enjoying, I'm enjoying my stitching. I hope you're all enjoying yours. Thank you so much for visiting. If I don't see you before Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, Hanukkah is coming up. Um, just enjoy the Yule, enjoy the festivities, enjoy this time of year. I love looking at Christmas lights. I love just, I do like, I, I do hate how it gets dark this early, but I kind of like it too because it's nice and cozy. So thank you so much for visiting. Have a great um, rest of the year and I will see you all soon. Thanks. Bye.